Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two. Yes, number two. We traveled back from Florida to our home in Asheville and it's cold. I've got a scarf on. I got my Ugg boots on. I got a heater next to me pumped up and I am still cold, but I'm still going to paint. <laughs> Do you think I need an intervention? <laughs> I don't know. I did a painting yesterday. I'll post the picture of it. And um, I always post a picture of my paintings on Facebook just to see how people like it, just to hear their comments, to see if if I did good. And uh, I wasn't going to post this picture because it was literally a failed failed pearl pour, but I'm not one to give up on her paints, and I refuse to stop and waste the paints that were on the canvas or scrape them up and put them in my slop bucket to reuse as a base coat. I just wasn't going to give up, so I started to swipe it. Now, a lot of people say, and it makes me giggle a little bit, they say, yeah, if it's not right, swipe it, just swipe it. But there's more to it than that. You can't just swipe it. The paint consistency has to be right. If your paints are heavy for like a ring pour, you can't just swipe it because your paints aren't going to move. Um, I generally swipe with intention. <laughs> and that's why I'm down here again today. I did that painting. Everyone loved it. And then as I stood and looked at it, I started to love it a little more. I guess I wasn't mad at it anymore for not cooperating with me, but I decided to come down here and try to do it again. Now, the difference is, is the pearl pour recipe that I used. I am a big fan of Darling Tara Lombardi from Pieces of Terra. If you haven't visited her on YouTube, guys, pay her a visit. She's wonderful. She's very detailed. She tells you down to the schmidgen of how much you use in order to get certain techniques. And I just love her to death. I think she's a joy and she's good people. So my pouring medium yesterday that I ended up swiping from my pearl pour painting, which is very hard to say, say that three times fast, pearl pour, pearl pour, <laughs> was Tara's recipe. It was three parts of U.S. Floetrol, two parts of the Bare Satin Enamel Premium Plus Deep base 7300, which I will grab the can and show you. It's available at Home Depot. You get it untinted. Let me grab it. It's an interior satin enamel house paint. So let me start over again. Three parts U.S. Floetrol, two parts of the bare um, deep base satin enamel house paint, one part Golden GAC 800, a half a part of Liquitex pouring medium, two parts tube paint or one part fluid paint. And I use both tube paint and fluid paint. And then two to three parts, yes, two to three parts of water. So I mixed up my pouring medium minus the water, added my paints and slowly started to add my water. And I thought, you know, Kathleen, your paints might be a little bit too thick. And they were. It created pearl cells, but it did not create the kind of pearl cells I was hoping for. So, um, but it made a beautiful swipe when I swiped it. So what we have here today are my leftover mixed up paints that were mixed with Tara Lombardi's pouring medium. And I will list it in the description box as well as down below here, guys. But like I said, go visit Tara. The link will be in the description box. And when you do, you tell her I said a big hello. Let's talk about our paints, guys. Our base coat. Now, in the original one, our base coat was black. 
I can't believe it. This girl is totally out of black paint other than a little bit, which was left over from yesterday. But this created a gorgeous, gorgeous color, and I know you can't see it. This is Artist Loft Black. Can you see that teal aqua? If you all remember the uh, paint Mysterious, this reminds me of it. It's absolutely beautiful. That is a combination of soft body acrylics by Artist Loft in the black and Artist Loft metallic cobalt blue. These two combined guys makes a very, very, very delicious color. That's our base coat with Terra's pouring medium. In this cup right here, we have golden fluid acrylics in the turquoise. This did not take as much water because it's a fluid paint and it's more fluid. I don't have the bottle to show you, but I'll show you one similar because I used the last of it. This is Golden Fluids Fluid Paint, but this is actually the Q word, the Nickel Azo Gold. This did not take as much water because it's a fluid paint. This is the little bit of Artist Loft Soft Body Black that was left over from yesterday's pour. And this right here is a combination of a bunch of different golds because I'm pretty sure that the bare satin enamel house paint from Home Depot has a little bit of white tint in it. I might be wrong, but my gold was not producing the kind of color that I was hoping for. So I had to play with it for a while. That's a combination of Deco Art Metallics in the 24 karat gold and sergeant acrylics in the metallic gold and i started off with this i don't think the pigment was very strong that's why i added the um, deco art uh, metallic in the 24 karat gold so let's take a look at our consistency it's thin guys it leaves almost no trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. All of these paints are the same consistency and our base coat is the same consistency. We are working today on a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas and we are swiping with the damp paper towels. They are always damp, guys. I stack a whole bunch of paper towels. I run my squeeze bottle along the bottom inch. I flip it over. I do the same thing with the water on the other side. Sometimes I cut them into different sizes. Sometimes I dip that damp paper towel into one of my paint cups to add some additional color to my canvas. So we're going to try to make that pretty swipe again with more intention. Tara, thank you for all you do. You are a joy and a pleasure to watch. Thank you for sharing all that you've learned with us as well. Let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's get busy. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next.
we won't. 